Yum, yum! William Vaughn here with a quick introduction to time markers in Moto. Moto enables you to place markers in the area directly above the timeline to call out specific frames or to indicate certain areas of a sequence. You can add markers anywhere along the timeline by middle mouse clicking in the area above the timeline. You can also add a marker at the current time marker position by pressing M on the keyboard when the timeline has input focus. Another option is to right click the timeline area and choose Add Frame Marker. Markers are attached to items in a scene based on what is selected before the marker is added. The left column of the time marker shows an icon that indicates which type of item the new marker will be added to. If nothing is selected, the marker will be attached to the scene. Scene markers always appear. When not part of the scene, markers only appear when you select the associated items. You can customize markers by changing their color and shape as well as assigning a label to them. The label will show as a tooltip or if the show label option is enabled, the text will appear above the marker itself. To create a range marker, add a time marker and then drag it with the right mouse button. You can edit the starting time of multiple range markers by dragging with the left mouse button and the end time by dragging with the right mouse button. When editing a single range marker, you can use the left mouse button to change the start or end time by dragging near the start or end of the marker. If you press the shift key as you drag, you can move the whole marker. There are additional options for timeline markers, so be sure to explore them. Oh, look at the time.